Hello and welcome to PlayPod. And we're here to play some Commander and to talk about the goings on in the Magic community. So let's start things off with the introductions. Uh, yeah, I'll start. I'm Brett, I'm from Kitchen Table Commander, and my main focus is on uh, casual Commander games, uh, casual Commander deck brews, and uh, evaluating new cards, or even old cards in some cases, for potential Commander playability. Welcome everybody, I'm Alex with Project MTG, co-founder, and we are all about fostering the community through gaming. We outreach and try to foster newer players as well as entertain the old steady players. So we're a little bit of entertainment and a little bit of outreach. So today I am playing uh, Arved the Cursed. And so Arved is a legendary Orzhov commander that gives other legendary creatures plus two plus two. And so I'm playing uh, as many low converted mana costs with uh, great utility ability uh, legends. If you look at a lot of the black and white legends, you'll find quite a few that are actually really good in this deck and have an aggressive play style, because that's kind of what I'm going for with this. So my commander is Gishoth Sun's Avatar, 7-6 uh, Dino with Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. And when he gets uh, when he does combat damage to a player, uh, I get to look at the top uh, library and uh, put a dino creature onto the battlefield. From that. My commander is Animar, Soul of Elements. He's little to start a 1 1. However, he grows with every creature you play as well as increases your cost reduction of your creature spells. So, this has a lot to do with ramping to a handful of large Eldrazi bombs and also taking advantage of the morph mechanic and how that interacts with Animar. Okay, so I'm going to start us off with a command tower and pass the turn. Um, I'm also going to be tapping out so that uh, I can auto-yield through the turns. just makes things go a lot faster. don't have to worry about triggers in response to anything because I don't have anything to play. All right, I'm just going to play a planes and pass the turn because I also have nothing to play turn one. Well, I am... Also in the same boat, so I'm going to take advantage and go ahead and put in a tap land there. We'll try color action and pass turn. Seems decent. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw down Nykthos and play a jet medallion. Get a little bit of ramp going. Just a bit, eh? Yeah. Reducing all the cost of my black spells. That's a big percentage of my deck but whatever I'll still get it out it's fine it's fine so we'll go ahead and toss down the command tower and the elvish visionary get a little extra mana out she's the one that gets me an extra card which in this deck is very important there's not really quite enough card draw I would say but we'll get there and that's all the turn I have Okay. Drew land, which is nice. That's what I was looking for. Um, unfortunately, I can't play both of the cards I'd like in my hand. Um, based on what's on board, I think this may be the better play. Um, both of them do allow me to get some card draw going uh, to hopefully continue to hit my land drops. But um, one also acts as a blocker which is nice. So I'm going to throw down Timna the Weaver. Two mana. And since I don't really have anything else I can play, I am going to tap out and pass the turn. Get all my mana out there. And uh, I don't really have much I can do at the moment that I want to do. I think I'm just going to hold back and pass the turn. Okay. I think myself, I'm going to go ahead and go with a Volcanic Island. A card I wish was affordable in paper, but it seems to be unbelievably cheap online. <laughs> so I'm actually going to get to play with one. Yeah. And that gets me to what I need in order to get my commander out, which really, with this particular deck, is where you want to be. 
as soon as you can get there. And I did want to say to Austin that Nykthos, Shrine of Nyx, is a really good land pick for that deck. Running with so many legends, you know your devotion is going to be present. So yeah. that is such a good land pick for that deck. Kudos, man. Yeah, I have a lot of creatures in this deck, and so it makes uh, makes things a lot easier when I have a full board to produce extra mana. Um, okay, so didn't hit a land drop just yet. This uh, doesn't do me too too good against the NMR. So I think what I'm going to go and try and do here is throw a Knight's Whisper down and uh, draw some cards, lose some life. And I did, in fact, draw land, which is good. So I'm just going to throw down the Urborg and head to combat. See if I can get an, uh, a Timna attack over at you, Brett. Absolutely not. All right. <laughs> uh, no. No. Hmm. Well. I like this trade. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you know it's not going to be a trade. You know he's no, got something in his sleeve. Hmm. He's got to have a trick. All right. Since I can't really interact with Animar, unfortunately, I think I'm going to try and salvage my Timna and uh, Anguish on making. It's a little early, but, you know, keeps Timna around. Yep. And Timna is a, definitely a, a key piece to that combo. Yeah, oh, I yeah. I feel like sequencing that a little differently might have helped me... Uh, draw the card, which would have been nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. There we go. Needletooth Raptor. Yeah, Needletooth Raptor is strong. Come at me, bro. <laughs> that shuts down any attacks I would have sent to Brett's way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> for certain. So... We'll go ahead and play our first morph. Well, we can throw down our first trickery, hopefully. I do like the morph mechanic. It's kind of neat that you can throw those down and kind of have something on board, but still something up your sleeve. Yeah, when you get to a certain point, Animar will make all your morphs free, and then you can use your mana to flip them, which is nice. I think it's the best uh, best commander out there for a morph deck. Definitely. And we'll move to attacks, and I think I will go ahead and get in on Austin while I've got some protection from him before his board state gets out of control. Yep, taken two. Your life gain can get hard to keep up with. And that's it for me. Okay. I'm going to throw down a Cabal Coffers, go with my Urborg, mm -hmm. and add some mana to my mana pool. So, five black mana. Um, what do I want to do here? I can use four of it, which I will, to cast uh, Dry's Familiar. Reducing the cost of my historic spells by one. So, all my artifacts and legendaries. This deck has a lot of legendaries. And then I'm going to throw down Odric Lunar Marshal. Mm -hmm. So, heading to combat, all my creatures are going to get lifelink and flying. Which is nice. That's a thing. So, you did attack me last turn. Alex, I think I'm going to uh, send this back your way. I think it's only right. I would expect it. So, flying 2-2 two, two, and draw a card. And that's it. That and that. And raising whip tail. Yeah, reach. All your... All your flyers belong to me. Give you a nice blocker for my, my flyers. 
Do I want to attack? No. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna pass the turn. Okay. Well, fortunately, the only land I've got for this turn is one coming in tapped. So let's evaluate here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out a reclaimed sage. And we'll go ahead and snipe away that uh, jet medallion. All right. And at least we can get some of your reduction off the board. Yeah. But your spells are already so cheap, I don't think it's going to do me much. I have quite a bit of mana right now with the Cabal Coffers on board, so I'm not mm -hmm. too worried. But, I mean, if I don't get any more card draw in, it might be tough. Mm. Yeah, I feel like we'll have to go ahead and come in again with uh, Animar. Yep. And that's gonna do it for me. Yeah, it's five commander. Yeah, you're. Uh, you might just win on commander damage. Uh, that might be our only hope if he starts hooking them up with lifelink every combat. All right, I'm gonna throw down an evolving wilds. I think now is a good time to cast Arved. Kind of speed things up a bit. Um, hmm. Let's see how I want to tap my mana. Well, I'm going to Cabal Coffers. And that'll get me six black mana. Hmm. I need. That'll give me one, two, three. Okay. All right, so that's fine. Pay one, cast Arvid for four. Thanks to the familiar. Oh yeah. And I will pay one more for Hope of Gurper. A nice yep. uh, three drop, three three for one. <laughs> or I'm sorry, three three for free. Because it's a, it's a legend. So that right. actually didn't cost me any mana. And then... I'm going to pay two. And, hmm. It's four mana. That'd be five. So it's not enough for this. That would be the best thing I could do currently. But it's not, uh, not exactly what I can. So I'm going to throw down a Ravos Soul Tender. It's going to give all my other creatures plus one, plus one. So I'll be able to get some damage in. Yeah, just a tiny bit. Yeah, it's easy. Because everything's <laughs> going to have flying, lifelink, and death touch. Well, you have a creature with reach. Mm hmm I could attack safely, I think, with my Odric. I'm a little worried that Animar is going to get pretty big soon. Um, so I could have the aggression go that way, but I think I'm going to try and spread it out. So Odric's going to head your way, Brett, and Alex, Timna, five flying in the air. All right. Um, we'll see if you want to block. Putting me in an awkward situation here. I have something I can do, but it doesn't do enough. Hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna have to take it. All right, six damage. Got some tricks. Not me. Not me. All right. That is gonna be a little bit of damage, spreading it out. And thanks to Timna, and because I got to attack both of you, I'm gonna pay two life, draw two cards, which is good. And I'm just going to crack this now and grab a white source since everything is a swamp currently. Heading to combat? No. You know what? I'm just going to pass. No land? Nothing? Nothing. All right. It's a bold move. Yep. Uh, it's not optimal, that's for sure. Not optimal. I'm feeling the not optimal <laughs> at the moment. Uh, 
Okay, so we will go with the Shaman of the Great. Whenever a creature oh, deals damage, gets a plus one, plus one counter. It seems mm -hmm. uh, synergistic with Animar. Mm hmm. Definitely strong with the counterplay. Question is who are you attacking? I got a. I got a nice blocker, finally. You do. Hmm. For now. But we'll go ahead and take that Hope of Gear Pour out. Oh, yeah. That does it. Yep. Well, that's, uh, I think I'm okay with that. Block. You can still block, but I, you know, I really wanted to take out the owl, personally, but unfortunately. Hmm. My death touch flying lifelink it's owl. It's, it's death touch too, so. Yeah. Like, uh, no attacks. Not really ready to make that sacrifice. No. Well, lucky for me, Ravo Soul Tender is uh, going to put uh, that hope right back into my hand. <laughs> yep, that seems like the appropriate play. And I think I will just free cast it again. So it's back. Um. Then I will play a land, and my devotion is a little bit better now. Um, I've got a couple options here in terms of how I tap my mana, because I can nick those and Cabal Coffers at the same time, but it's like I need enough mana to cast a certain spell in my hand, and so it's like how do I sequence my mana tapping in order to be able to utilize both Cabal Coffers and my Nykthos? Because hmm. I have five lands available to tap. So I need to tap two. I'll tap a Plains, and I'll tap the Urborg to make my Devotion to White, which is four, which isn't bad. Um, then... I think I actually need to tap all my mana in order to do what I want to do, unfortunately. Because I don't have enough to do to leave up defense as well as uh as well as tap for everything. So I have ten mana available and I'm gonna play a true conviction. Now, my creature's are already going to get lifelink, but this is going to give them double strike. Very oh. important. Oh, my God. That is going to so hurt. I know, I, I know you wanted this to be slightly a political game, but I don't even think <laughs> even if Brett and I gave, all, yeah. gave it our all together, I don't know that we can stop this train from just crushing us. Yeah. Yeah, this is, yeah. <clears throat> um, sometimes you, you draw it up where there's <laughs> yeah, a lot. Yeah, that is the nature of the 100-card singleton. Anything can happen, and you'll never repeat that same thing twice. Yeah. So I've got some damage on board. Quite a bit of it, actually. But I just, don't just know. And some life gain and some, yeah. So that's lethal on one of you. Now, I feel like Animar is a little bit more of a threat to me just because of the pro-black and pro-white. I think I'm going to have to... Uh, take you out here unfortunately yeah. let me just count as much damage as i can possibly send towards you it's going to be eight it's going to be 20 um and then that's going to be 28 and that should be 34 and so i will send timna over your way keep the aggression going i feel like you had something last turn when i attacked with odric just because you ha you mentioned <laughs> not being able to do enough damage to it. I I'm mean, I may or may not. That's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's entirely up to you to to find out. Uh, you know, I will attack. It's got double strike, so. Sure. Let's find out. Make sure I uh, counted things right. Let's see if I actually do do 34 to you. Hmm. Oh, boy. Um... So two damage just to target attacking or blocking creature. Yeah, because why not at this point? I don't think it's going to do enough because you're going to get your. I think you're going to kill my creature before 
my damage even gets through, so. Yeah. That's definitely going to happen. Mm -hmm. So, I think I'm okay with it, taking two damage from this. Yes, I did the damage. It's all that matters to me. Damaged. <clears throat> you got to cast the spell. Did a yes. thing. Did a thing. <laughs> and that's all I can block with. Farewell. Bye, Whiptail. Goodbye, Bye. Alex. Yeah. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> yep, so negative hey, one. It's only, only minus one. That's not so bad. All right, so no players were dealt damage by Timna. No card nope. draw. All right, you have five cards in hand, five mana. Missing land drops. Just a tiny bit, yeah. Um, okay, because this is going to be funny. Um, pretty much the main reason I put this card in here. Uh, Quoted Creature has flying. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to equip it for one. And that'll give you a flying blocker? Yep. That does five damage when you when it gets dealt damage. Yes. Um, and then, uh, because it's funny, is this, am I going to do this? Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Um, I'm also uh, going to uh, cast Till and Ollie's Crown on it. Okay. Please. So deal one damage to it. Yeah. And that'll cause a trigger. Yeah. And that'll... Uh, so... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to... Kill off your Timna. Okay. I think. I was almost thinking you were going to go after Arvid to make my team weaker. Yeah, yeah, Odric would have been a good, but yeah, one yeah, but I, I can't I couldn't kill Odric though. So. No, but he could have killed Arvad and I think that's that might have been Arvad, that's right. That would have been probably a better play. Either way, yeah. Ravos uh, is going to get him back, so Yep. Or I can just cast him with uh with the copious amounts of mana I have. Yeah. Yep. Ravos's ability is pretty amazing in your deck as well. And that's I'm also going to attack. Yeah, I'm taking the damage. Oh damn. <laughs> no blocks. <laughs> no blocks? What? What? You, you don't want me to get a second trigger? No. <laughs> I mean, you could have left it back for a blocker, got a second trigger. That's true. That is true. That way. Um, okay, so I think this is lethal. Uh, Probably. I'm going to attack Probably. anyway. See what happens first, and then. Sure. Um, because totally everything still has double strike, right? Everything still has yeah. double strike. True conviction. Yeah. Eight, sixteen, twenty-four. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty-six, yeah. forty-two. It yeah. adds up fast. Minus eight. I'm a wiener. All right. Well, that is game. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, tell us why, share, and subscribe. You can also use the promo code CMDR99 at nextridgegames.com to get all the cards you need and support the channel at the same time. And you can also help us out directly by subscribing to our Patreon, where you'll be able to see new episodes of the Multiverses series before anyone else. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.